Hello guys, this is Samuel again and today I'm going to show you one of the cool features of um, Windows 7 and that is the ability to mount a virtual hard drive or to create a virtual hard drive. Um, we're going to start here. Um, first thing you got to do is go to start my computer, right click on that, go to manage. and if you have this console pop up when this console pops up go to disk manage okay once you're in disk manage right click click on an empty area and then go to view I'm, I'm sorry go to actions and then if you wanted to create a virtual hard drive you go to create if you had one that was already there that you wanted to attach you go to attach VHD but now we're going to create one so we go to create VHD and first you have to browse to where you want to store this virtual hard drive so I'm going to browse and save it to my desktop for right now and I'm going to call it SAM okay here you can specify how big you want the hard drive to be um, just for test purposes I'm just going to do a 10 meg uh, virtual hard drive and you can set it to dynamically expand or you can set it to fixed so right now I'm just gonna set it to fix uh, what this will do is whenever you keep adding stuff to it, it it grows as you add stuff to it so it's not limited by size but over here I'm just gonna limit it to 10 megabytes so I'll use a fixed size so I'm gonna click OK and once you do that it will process and you should see this new virtual hard drive over here right now if I go to start my computer I don't see any, anything new over here um, but this virtual hard drive has been created and like I said it's stored on my desktop and here it is it's Sam right now you can't do anything to it yet so you go back to your console and you have to click on it right click over here and you gotta initialize the disk so I'm just gonna take default over here and once that is initialized you still can see do anything with it until you actually tell it to be a new simple volume so I'm gonna create a new simple volume next next and you can assign it a drive letter that you want to use or you can mount it in a full in an, in an empty NTFS folder but I'm just gonna assign it let's say Z or Y so I'm gonna go ahead and hit next you have a variety of settings over here. I want it to be an NTFS file system. So if I actually wanted to um, put a, an, another operating system in there, I could. And I'm just going to use this default and go next and finish. So now you're going to see this this new disk act like a real hard drive. Okay, so that's that. And I'm going to start my computer and you see a new volume over here. I'm um, doing the setup it, it gave me an option to to change the name to whatever I want or you can even go right here and rename it if you wanted to to whatever you would like to like it to be. But now as you can see I have a virtual hard drive and the physical it's not not exactly physical but the file this is a hard drive that you just created so what you can do with this then is if you decided to you know take it to another computer you can just copy this and go and attach it to another Windows 7 machine or you can actually copy this and run uh, run anything from this virtual hard drive in, in a virtual machine I think you can do it in a, with virtual PC I don't know about <coughs> VMware or VirtualBox but you can certainly mount this in, in a virtual um, PC Microsoft Virtual PC. So the good thing is you can save stuff on here and you can have it wherever you need it to be. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and by the way if you do need to detach this hard drive right now if you go here and try to delete it it's gonna tell you that it's in use. So first you have to go over here back to where you created it. My computer um, manage you go back to your console go to disk management and then first you want to click on that and um, you want to click on this and detach the virtual hard drive and you go ahead and say okay once it detaches so go away from here so once it's gone from there you can safely go and delete it if you need it to so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this 
Well, thanks for watching this video and feel free to sub subscribe because I'll be putting on some more interesting videos. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks. Bye.